I gotta hold this up one more time. One more time. It looks a little deflated. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Hello out there. This is the Goon Squad, our last week of the NFL picks, week 17. And Black, I have to admit, I didn't think we would make it here. The NFL has done a great job. Hook a crook <laughs> to get us to the end of the season. Don't know what's going to happen in the playoffs, but they got us to the end of the season so far. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, got us to the end of the season. All the games will be played this weekend. So um, what's your thoughts on this, man? 17 weeks, and uh, we made it. Yeah, my picks is not indicative of what the NFL did this year. It was a crazy year, bro. It's funny because the cat and I was talking the other day. It seemed like at times that players maybe took a week off just because of what was going on, especially like Tennessee. They got to have some players that fell down to the COVID. So it seemed like weeks, some players, some teams weren't consistent in week after week. I don't know if it was because of mental energy or not. But overall, man, it's been a very good season. Very good season. I'm not surprised we're here, bro. Because they're making a lot of money, bro. NFL lost a lot of money with not having people in the stands, but NFL was not going to be March Madness. They was like, no, we're going to find a way to get this done. Players aren't going to wear masks. We're going to get it done. So, hey, that's what the NFL do, baby. That's just what they do. They got a new contract coming up with Amazon where they're going to move Monday night. I'm sorry, Thursday night football. The streaming, more money, more money, more money, more money, baby. Yeah, I caught a little bit of it last week. Yeah. Ice, what do you think, man? Week 17, we're here, baby. Yeah, I'm glad we made it because, boy, it's up to you. We went, we've went, been out after week two. We <laughs> 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 boy, we would have been over week two. But I'm glad, man. I think it does a lot for a lot of people. A lot of people were cooped up. And uh, like you said, uh, Black Phil mentioned the NFL is about that cash. Uh, the only scary thing is, though, there are probably a lot more positive tests that we, don't, that we didn't know about. But uh, that's how they roll. I was really surprised that they didn't try to change it up where they limit the, the travel, but you know, there was a lot of stops and stops and, and, and women and postponement. They ended up still going through. So hey, what you don't know won't hurt you, right? They kill me all day. All right, roll them around in the dirt, you know how they say back in the day. So uh yeah, I was surprised they made it through. Really, were not any true stoppages. There was no real games that you said, like college football. We're not playing that game. NFL was like, nah, wait a minute. Can they make the play? Uh, yeah, we're gonna play that. We're gonna just postpone it for a week or two or whatever it happens. We're gonna make this work because they need their Super Bowl. They don't give a dang going about nobody else. They gonna play their Super Bowl and have Madonna out there, 96 years old, performing or whatever they need to get out there. <laughs> Oh, please don't bring out Madonna. Please don't bring out Madonna right now. Uh, anyway, let's let's get back to sports. Uh, before we get to sports, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we do uh, shows twice a week, but after this week, we'll do once a week uh, because we won't do the NFL picks uh, for the rest of the year. We'll just be on Monday nights. Uh, and uh, stay tuned to our overtime. We put a lot of goodies and talk about all sports all over the place and all different topics uh, after the show. And I want Ice to talk about that uh, pretty little bottle he got, those bottles he got back there of the cognac. If you haven't tasted that cognac, go get you a uh, bottle or two for the New Year's. All right, last week, um, all of you went, I believe, 12 and four last week. And uh, all of us went 12 and four. Um, and Pop went 11 and five, and Ice Water and Pop are tied. Uh, me and Black are tied. I don't even care at this particular point because this is going to be a crazy week. I'm gonna make some crazy picks this week, and so uh, Ice and and Pop are tied at 159 wins, 80 losses, one tie. Me and Black are tied at 151 wins, 88 losses. So this is championship week, baby. Championship week. And Black is making those faces like I ain't calculated this stuff right. So I just I, I don't know how I don't know how you get to week 17 talking about you don't care, bro. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't get to. I, I know I ain't gonna win. So you know it don't matter. You know, fourth, third, second, it don't matter. You sound like Houston Texan players, baby. You know they, they know they're not gonna make the playoff. They're not even showing up. Come on, man. You gotta be better than that. This oh, ain't fantasy football. 
Finish the season strong, baby. You started strong. Finish the season strong. Cut that out, man. I'm I don't care. What type of talk is that, man? My picks like this. <laughs> so the pick order changes. You know, I thought one thing for that you you sound like the uh, Florida wide receivers, University of Florida wide receivers. They can't play in the playoffs. They say, I'm going to the league. I ain't even playing in the ball game. <laughs> okay. it's, been, it's been a great run. Last time I'm holding up this football. Great run. You know, they won't give me credit for the other championship I won in the AAF. You know, it was what? It was a real league, what? baby. What was it? Say that again. They won't give me cha- AAF. It wasn't a real league. I thought you said the AFF. <laughs> <laughs> I give you, I give you, I give you a, 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 a pound for that one. The AFL more than was the AA, the FAA. What the what? <laughs> Anywho, the pick, pick orders changed this week. You got Black going first, followed by Ice, Pop, and then I'm picking last. So I get to look at whoever is picking what and decide what I want to do, just like these two guys been doing all season. So uh, they're looking at me funny like, you know, I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, the uh, – Black door, take me home. <laughs> Black said he's going to swing real hard this last week. And it might be an upset. Uh, oh, okay. We go, we're going to start the picks of Dallas versus the New York Giants. Black, who you got? Easy, easy game here, man. Easy game here for the most part. Cowboys are impressive, to say the least. They finished the year strong. I don't know if it's going to save the coach's job, but um, for some reason, they woke up. They decided to play. I guess they kind of realized it's a possibility. And I'll say this here, man. I think they're going into the playoffs. I'm going to take the Cowboys. All right. Ice water, who you got? Andy Dalton came alive. I think he's after, ever since that Cincinnati game, he kind of woke up. And they want to go to the playoffs. It, it was ugly. And if nothing else, if you want to give a, a reprieve from Jerry Jones, at least let him make the playoffs so he can be sitting around, strutting around, talking about the boat, to, uh, the ship. So uh, I'm going to choose Dallas. All right. Pop is going with Dallas also. I'm going with my Giants. I'm throwing them a bone in the last game of the season. I'm throwing them a bone. Come on, D. Jones. Let's go. Let's go. Let's up. Let's stop Dallas from going to the playoffs once again. <laughs> Next hey, game on time. Can I say one thing yeah. real quick? Go ahead. You know Tony Romo's not quarterbacking, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, that is right. <laughs> but don't it, doesn't it seem like Dallas has a trend? And I've seen this in the last few years. They got a chance to go to playoffs. The last game of the season, they play a division rival, and they don't make it. And me and my father were laughing about that uh, uh, earlier today. But he went with the Cowboys anyway. Mm-hmm. So I'm going with the Giants. Next game on tap is Baltimore versus Cincinnati. Black, who you got? This going to be a pretty good game here, man. Even though I like what Cincinnati's doing, Baltimore's on a mission. Um, that bet uh, time that – Lamar had to go to the bathroom. No, I'm sorry. He had went inside and did what he had to do. <laughs> and you said you going to stop that. <laughs> it's, um, since then, that Ravens offense has been kind of clicking and kind of moving. And um, I think they can see and smell the playoffs. I'm going to take the Ravens with this one. All right, Ice, right, so who you got? Not surprised because that, that serious soliloquy that Black Thor gave about <laughs> That's not important. Then he comes back and make a joke. That's interesting. But uh, I'm going to go with Baltimore, too, because uh, I was kind of impressed by the heroics by that great quarterback, Lamar Jackson. So I'm going to roll with uh, Baltimore, continuing on the push. Okay, Pop is going with um, Baltimore, and I'm going with Baltimore, too. Um, Cincinnati has been playing uh, pretty good the last couple of weeks, but, you know, that's just the last couple of weeks. Baltimore gearing up for the playoffs. Next game on tap is Atlanta at Tampa Bay. Black, who you got? Realistically, Tom Brady's playing, right? <laughs> You're not sitting down. I think he's playing. So is he? Tom Brady, huh? Is he? I, I'm assuming he is. I haven't. Heard, if Tom Brady wasn't going to play, man, he would have been all the sports week. I mean, sports talk the whole entire week. You know, they'd have been crying and blowing their noses. I'm taking the, the Bucks with this one. All right, Ice, right, so what you got? Yeah, if I if I understand this right, I think Tampa Bay is trying to secure the the fifth seed in the playoffs. Um, so they they have to win. They got to do anything they can to win. Uh, to try to improve their situation for the postseason. So definitely taking uh, Tampa Bay. Okay. Pop is taking Tampa Bay also. Um, I have to go with Tampa Bay uh, for that exact reason. I was looking at, you know, who's going to make the playoffs, who's in the hunt, and who really needs to win. And so uh, I was basing my decisions on, on, on that. 
Um, next game on tap is Miami at Buffalo. Black, what do you got? Well, Buffalo has secured. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm not expecting much out of them this week, man. I think they'll show up and play a little bit, but I'm not expecting they can go strong. I'm, I'm going to take Miami. Okay. Miami needs to go in Buffalo. Um, I think Buffalo's a better team. I love what Buffalo did to New England on Monday night, bro. Cool. See, see Belichick slam that phone down? Priceless. Priceless. Wow. Bill, go on to retire. It's done, baby. Tom is gone. You should go. <laughs> Craft sell the team. Whatever you got to do. But I'm taking the, the Dolphins with this one. Do you think the, um, the offensive coordinator, if, if it is Belichick's last kind of hurrah, the offensive coordinator would just step up? Because they stopped him from going to Tampa Bay or somewhere. And, you know, they've been stopping him from going different places. Do you think he will step up? Is that I think so. Yeah, I think it's his job. I, I think Kraft wants him there. I think he, he had the chance to interview for Indy. Actually, take the job with Indiana. He backed out the last second. I think Kraft talked to him a few years ago and talked about – I'll say this, man. I don't, you know, other than New England, I don't think he's head coach material. I just don't think he is. Now, can he call some good plays? Yeah. That does not make you a leader of men. And I don't think he possessed that inside of him. But I do think, I don't know if Bill can walk away yet, but whenever he does, yeah, that, the job is his. All right. All right, so you got? Yeah, oh, this is a tough game. Like Buffalo, Miami. Wow, it's a lot going on there. Miami's been playing great, man. I, again, I, all the way from the beginning, I like the way that they put everything together and they've been moving forward. Wow. And so the question is, is Buffalo going to sit everybody down and just kind of be happy with what they have? I don't think so. I think they know that th- this is going to be their year. They got to keep it rolling. So they might start out a little early, but I think they need to win this game because if you sit down thinking you're already set, you're going to lose momentum and go into the playoffs, they cannot afford to do that. They really can't. And I think Allen is like, how are you going to sit Allen down? He's not Tom Brady. That dude is hungry. He want to play. He play in the street if you let him. But I'm going to choose Buffalo. All right. Um, Pop is going with Buffalo. I'm going with Miami. I, I think Miami will, um, will, will play inspired football, and I think Buffalo will rest a little bit. So that might explain why Ice and uh, Pop are tied for first and uh, me and Black are tied for last. Picking the same teams. Um, next game on tap is Minnesota versus Detroit. <laughs> Black, who you got? Yeah, Detroit was spickable. Um, not that Minnesota is much better. Their defense is horrible. But Minnesota won probably finish the year, finish the year on a positive, strong note. So I'm taking the Vikes. All right. Ice, who you got? Yeah, Minnesota tricked me with, with, uh, with the Bears. I'm back and forth with that. Still not feeling good about that. But Detroit is just, I mean, you don't know what's happening. In regards to the quarterback Stafford, one week something else going on. They show up sometimes they don't, but uh, I think Minnesota might have some type of a chance of, at something. If nothing else is pride <clears throat> in this game based on if nothing else pride Minnesota. Yeah, can I say something real quick, Boom? Yeah, I saw a headline today where where um, the quarterback you just said his name for the Detroit yeah. Lions. Stafford said he would be upset if they draft a quarterback. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? I heard another rumor that um, him to New England. I'm like, I'm, people in Detroit would be glad to send you somewhere oh, else. Please. Please. Yeah. Oh, my that's goodness. The, that's the uh, rumor that's going around. Pop pick Minnesota. Um, Cook lost his, uh, I think, his father um, today. I was reading the report. So I'm not sure if he's going to play. And uh, condolences to him and his family. Uh, I'm going with Minnesota anyway, whether he plays or not. Uh, hopefully the team can rally around him and uh, play some inspired football on Sunday. Next game on tap is Pittsburgh versus Cleveland. This should be an interesting, interesting game. Just when you think Cleveland is right there, right there, Black. Who you got? Um, ben is not playing. So that's a big signal that Pittsburgh kind of basically nailed it in. But, damn, I don't trust Cleveland. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't beat the Jets. And you know Pittsburgh wants to stick it to them. They, they want to stick it to them. So like I'm going with Pittsburgh here. Even though Ben is not playing, I'm going to, go, I'm going to take the Steelers. Because I, if you can't beat the Jets, I don't care how many receivers you're down, Cleveland. And I don't, what I don't understand is, again, you have two of the dynamic running backs in the league. And you got Mayfield out there throwing around like he's Johnny United. Like 50 run. times. Yeah. Huh? I think he threw over 50 times. Like 50 yes. Times. Run the damn ball. And keep running some more. 
they're not they haven't learned their lesson yet so for that reason i'm gonna go with um off, off i think off defensive turnovers alone the steelers win this game i'm gonna take the steelers <laughs> All right, so you got big game, man. Big game here, major game. Uh, ben Roethlisberger is not playing. Um, Cleveland needs to win this game, though, real bad. They do. They need to try to secure something. Um, but the one thing is, is when I looked at this, the one thing that really sticks out for me is uh, um, the Pittsburgh backup quarterback. What is his name again? Randolph. Yeah, yeah, he's playing. And last time they played Cleveland with all of the, the Garrett situation, I think we might have another situation where somebody gets slammed on their head about five times. I think this is a momentum builder uh, for them to just beat the hell out of that backup quarterback for some things you couldn't do or say because it wasn't politically correct and certain things weren't done properly by the authorities. You get a chance to just go in there and just act a dang old fool, and I think that's what they're going to do. I'm choosing Cleveland this week. Okay. Pop is also choosing Cleveland. And, uh, <laughs> My man. <laughs> I'm with you, Black. I, I can't trust Cleveland. I, I really can't. <laughs> I've seen this too many times before. Just when you think, and we said on the show a few weeks ago, just when you're about to give Cleveland, okay, yeah, they nah, nah, it's, it's, it, they just do something to, to shoot themselves in the foot. So, um, I think opposite, I, I think Randolph's going to have a hell of a game against Cleveland, wanting to get back at them, um, a revenge game at that. You know, I don't, I don't know all the circumstances that happened, what was said, what was not said, all this other stuff. But uh, I, I see them um, coming out victorious in this game um, and stopping Cleveland from getting to the, to the playoffs. Yeah. Next game on tap is the New York Jets, the hot New York Jets against the New England Patriots. Black, who you got? Wow. Um, this is gonna be ugly here. You configuring your, your numbers over there? I hear clicking over oh, yeah. there. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't think the Jets have enough mentally to beat the Patriots. What? I just got a funny, yeah, I'm gonna take the Patriots with this, even though the Patriots will. The, the Jets are not the Bills, and Bill Belichick is in the Jets' head, and I I, I think they're gonna find a way to win this game. I'm gonna take Patriots, man. I'll take the Patriots. All right. All right, so you got tough game. Where's the game at? It's in New England. Just been rolling. They've been they have can't cost themselves the number one pick, the number two pick. They, they go call, all out. You know, they gonna fall out, and they balling out. Darnold, the was quarterback, and the Jets. You got me the first time. You will not get me again. I'm going with New England. <laughs> all right, ice and black pick New England. Uh, Pop is picking the Jets. We talked about this earlier. I'm picking the Jets, too. Okay. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Looking at Cam, and then the backup. I don't care what play you call. You ain't got no receivers. <laughs> Defense can't stop anybody. I'm going with the Jets. Bill Belichick throwing phones all over on the sideline. I love it. <laughs> it's done, man. They're done. I mean, this is the second time in the second time this season I've seen by the third quarter, mid third quarter, they just take Cam right out of the game. They just it's 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 kind of sad to watch Cam play now. I mean, I, I saw him throw a ball into the ground. It's like Cam, you know. And he said he sacrificed. What do you sacrifice? You sacrifice what, Cam? Nobody wanted you, and you you had an opportunity to prove them wrong. What did you do? Oh. You sealed it, bro, that they were correct about you. You're done. Yeah. You know, go somewhere now, sit and drink soda. I mean, drink, drink a glass of wine, put your fairy hats on, everything else you want to do, your red robin, put the scarf under your neck, and have a good time, bro, because NFL is going on without you. And that's a damn shame, because you was one of the talented guys that ever entered the league, and you let it all go to waste. I, I remember uh, we said that when, when, um, when Ron Rivera didn't pick him up when he went to Washington, that, that was a big clue that, Maybe maybe he just doesn't have it. Uh, next game on tap is Tennessee versus Houston. Black, who you got? Wow. <laughs> yeah, Tennessee's going to show up in this one, bro. Even if even if the horse don't play, they're going to show up in this one. You know, they they got embarrassed, demolished last week. They want to walk into the playoffs and on, on a high. So I got to go with the, the, the Titans on this one. Okay, Ice, who you got? Yeah, what's the game again? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm logged off. Is. Tennessee versus Houston. Oh, wow. Sean Watson every week, man. A true soldier on the football field. But uh, 
Now the way that Tennessee just got kind of got pushed around, they gotta they gotta come back strong. So uh, they gotta turn this around and get ready for the playoffs. So I'm gonna choose uh, Tennessee. All right, Pop is going with Tennessee also, and I'm going with Tennessee as well. So it's Tennessee across the board. Next game on tap is Seattle versus San Francisco. Black, who you got? This was a tough game, it really is, because San Fran played well, but it was against the Rams. And it's a matter of what Seattle wants to do this week, because they're basically, well, I think they actually have a chance to kind of move up if they win. So for that reason, I think I'm going to take Seattle, because I thought they might have go down a little bit, but I don't think Pete is going to allow them to kind of even sit, even if they have everything locked down. I think they can move up the second, or possibly first, if um, some things, if New Orleans lose, and I think Green Bay lose, there's a possibility they might slide up there. So um, for that reason, well, I think they're going to play. They're going to play tough. As you commented on the show a few nights ago, their defense stepped up a little bit and starting to play a little better. If they can maintain that against San Fran, San Fran don't really have much of an offense. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Okay. All right, so you got? Yeah, the defense uh, playing well for uh, Seattle actually uh, showed me that they're ready to try to turn things around and get back on track. Also, too, I think what they're going to try to do is get this back uh, the offense rolling too, because you need the wide receivers moving around. Now you had the running backs. You have a nice little uh, solid group, but but you need to look better. You need to be do, do better in regards to timing and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm gonna choose Seattle because I think they they need to make another statement this week. Okay. Pop goes with Seattle. I'm going with San Francisco. I don't think you're gonna get Green Bay and New Orleans losing in the same weekend, especially with uh, New Orleans. They proved that they can win with their backup quarterbacks. Um, and they're going against uh, Carolina this week. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm going to go with San Francisco. Swinging for the fence, baby. So I'm a lone wolf on that. Next game on tap is this should be an interesting one, Green Bay and Chicago. Now, earlier this week, Black, I mentioned that Chicago, pretty much the only team they beat over 500 um, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they get a shot. If they win, uh, they say they're in. But uh, I think Green Bay is going to have something to say about that. What say you? Yeah, Green Bay wants this game, man. Green Bay, anytime it's a division game, Green Bay like to put their foot on their neck. They just do. It could be Chicago, Detroit. They come out and they want to put their foot down to show they're still superior. And they truly are this year, without a doubt. It's not, it's not even close. So, yeah, they're going to basically um, – they're going to show an example to Chicago to show them that, yeah – like you said, you beat some teams that didn't have good records, but you don't only, you don't deserve to be in this division. And the Packers are going to prove it. All right, Ice. Yeah, how apropos would it be for Green Bay to silence the uh, Chicago Bears uh, playoff hope? That's the best. There's nothing like that. Like you just putting your like you stomping them into the ground, and you just end their playoff hope. So, with that being said, Aaron Rodgers is a little ticked off. Still wants to prove that he's worthy. Perhaps maybe the MVP, so he needs to finish that off since Mahomes won't be playing. So uh, definitely uh, Green Bay. Yeah, Pop is going with Green Bay. Um, I'm going with Green Bay too. Um, it's going to be cold over the weekend. Doesn't matter. Green Bay loves to play in the cold, as you saw last week against Tennessee. So it's Green Bay across the board. Next game on top is Arizona at the Los Angeles Rams. Arizona needs a win to solidify their spot in the playoffs. Black. This go, is this game in Arizona or L.A.? In L.A. Yeah. I'm going to take Arizona with this one. I, just don't like to, I don't like to go with them on the road, but uh, golf is not playing. The, the Rams defense is in shambles. It was shambles when he was playing. Um, I think Rams have been overrated. I think that coach has been overrated. We saw that with the Super Bowl. He hasn't done nothing yet to prove to me that he deserved to get the attention he, he's been getting. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Cardinals. I think they're going to come out and they're going to they're take this one. Okay. Ice? Yeah, I think Kyler Murray is a little banged up, but they really need this game. And with golf out, also, too, I think that they're, uh, the Rams are almost down to, like, their fourth uh, running back. They're like, they put a, a rookie in last week to try to make some things happen. Um, Arizona may not have the greatest defense, but they do take opportunities to uh, make things, to make things uh, work for them, offer of turnovers. And I think that's what they're going to do to the backup quarterback. So I'm going to choose Arizona. All right. Uh, Pop is going with Arizona also. And uh, it's Arizona across the board. I'm going with Arizona too. Uh, Kyler Murray said he is playing. And so um, they need this win. 
Uh, he knows it, and usually uh, great players step in when they know their team needs need them the most, regardless of how they feel. It's, it's time to get in the playoffs. It's money time. Next game on tap is Jacksonville versus Indianapolis. Now, Black, you called this right last week. <laughs> they played them tough for a while and said, you know what? We need a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got? Yeah, the Colts need this game, man. They need to win this game and kind of look around and see what else is going on. You know, he's been playing well throughout the season, but he kind of hurt them last week. I know Pittsburgh played well in the second period, but that fumble for a touchdown that he gave to uh, the Steelers' defense kind of really got the momentum going in the opposite direction. Speaking of the quarterback of the Colts, but they're going to have enough to win this week. It is no way Jacksonville, not that it doesn't matter, there's no way Jacksonville is going to truly try to win this game this year. Jacksonville is in next year mode. They just are. And I can't blame them. They can't blame them. That's, they're not a bad team. They're not a bad team. But they're in next year mode, and they're going to just ride this right out. The Colts. All right. Ice, who you got? Jacksonville has struggled all year on defense. Uh, Indianapolis, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, we put their uh, quarterback, Phillip Rivers. And even if you want to save them, save them. Mm -hmm. I think you should go ahead and do that. But with that being said, just go ahead and play Jacoby Brissett. I think he's enough. He can make plays. He's not going to be the ball. And uh, that will be enough to beat Jacksonville. So I am selecting Indianapolis. Yeah, because uh, Brissett could give that um, that wrinkle that Jacksonville probably not expecting, mm -hmm. expecting to play Rivers in a must-win game. Pop is going with Indianapolis. I'm going with Indianapolis, too. This is a must-win game. And um, – Something tells me a little bit, Black and Ice, is that, you know, this is the same Phillip Rivers used to play for the San Diego Chargers. And when char the Chargers needed must-win games, he, he never really delivered. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there was an upset here and Jacksonville comes out and just plays because they already got the number one. one spot. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. They got the number one pick sewed up, so it doesn't really hurt them if they win. I just can't imagine the head coach – of the Colts that's going to allow Rivers to F this up. I just, that I can't imagine. <laughs> that reason you might see, you know, what's name come in because the games they won a loss, he just didn't play well. Right. Yeah, he just didn't play well. I mean, realistically, when they win, he plays well. When they when he plays bad, he they, they go that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next game on tap is the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Black, who you got? I think I heard you said Mahomes is not playing. Nope. Um, I'm not sure it's going to matter, bro. I don't trust the Chargers. I like their quarterback, without a doubt. To me, he's probably the rookie of the year. Um, Andy Andy Reid and, and um, the enemy is just not going to lay down offensively. They're going to put some new wrinkles out there. They did a play last week, man. And I'm saying to myself, I don't even know how you can stop it. That little play they did to Kelsey, the little push pass with Kelsey at the line of scrimmage at the goal line, <laughs> How can you defend that? Realistically, I, I mean, just tell me. Get up on the line. <laughs> oh, but he's he's out, like, almost he's out to the end. What do you – you have, you got to put, like, three defensive players there to stop him, bro. You just can't. He had two guys in front of him. He catched the ball. He's in. So, um, they got too many wrinkles, even without Mahomes, man, not to, 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 to basically not win this game. They're going to throw some stuff in this game that you probably haven't seen all season. To kind of get prepared for the playoffs. So, yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs with this one. All right. All right, so you got? Very difficult game, man, because he said, Mom, is Kelsey playing? Do you know? I don't know. Kelsey is wide open, and uh, I like the Chargers quarterback. He's, you know, he's doing the ball around and things like that. But uh, the scary thing is, though, as much as I want to select the Chargers right now, uh, you still got Eric bien over there, and that, that's a dangerous situation. I think he can make us look good right now. That's just how he can make – and the, the offense is not going to change. Somebody's going to play. Somebody has to play. They have enough weapons over there. And, uh, the defense comes to play as well. So do I take the charge? Is it, it's in Kansas City? Yes. Kansas City. Okay. Pop is going with Kansas City, too. Ask me the same question. Is Mahomes playing? I'm saying nope. But um, I'm going with the Chargers. I'm going with the Chargers. They played them real tough last time. And uh, if I get a win on that, fine, fine. But I'm going with the Chargers. I don't even know who the backup quarterback is for the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think Kelsey or any of the receivers are playing. You will, but, after, you will after Sunday, you'll know his name. 
<laughs> we'll see. My name, as they said in the wire, my name is my name. <laughs> Next game on tap is New Orleans at Carolina. Black, what you got? New Orleans need this, man. They need this. It's an division, division game. Um, I think Carolina battled them. I don't think they'll win. I'll take the Saints with this one. All right. All right, so you got? Yeah, we ain't got to worry about Mr. Hill playing this week. Kamara I'll let you know straight out the box. I told y'all, give me the ball. What can happen? Just give me the ball. So uh, with that being said, I'm going with New Orleans. Um, I think they need to get ready for the postseason. And if they start showing uh, that uh, they're playing well, then maybe Michael Thomas might all of a sudden get well and get ready for the, for the playoffs. <laughs> Pop is going with New Orleans. I'm going with New Orleans, too. So it's New Orleans across the board at Carolina. Next game on tap is Las Vegas versus Denver. Black, who you got? I damn sure can't take Vegas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was you know, if I lose this pick, I can't take Vegas. I, I just can't. I was hoping man. you would take Vegas. No, I can't, man. I mean, I think Denver has, uh, has enough. I mean, John Gruden is, 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 is a joke. He's a joke. And and this general manager, if you're smart, you will leave this organization right now. Go back to NFL Network. <laughs> go, 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 go that, that's right. He was with the NFL Network. It might be here. Go back, man, because you, you're you're working for an idiot. I don't care. To me, what's really being shown here, nobody wants to say this, but damn it, I'll say it. That Super Bowl he won was Tony Dungy's Super Bowl. Yeah, That was Tony Dungy's Super Bowl. Even you played the Raiders, you knew the play they, they was going to call, so you, you didn't really win. And he's proved it to you now. He's not a head coach in this game. He's not. John Gruden is not a head coach. And to think that he's making $10 million a year to put to coach that bad, please. I will not take him. I'll take the Broncos. I don't care if they play them every week. I would take the Broncos against them to me. <laughs> That's venom. <laughs> uh, Ice, who you got? Yeah. Um, Denver finds ways, man. They, got, they, they lost a lot of people. Um, I know Lindsey is hurt. He's out for the rest of the year. Yeah. Running, um, so they're gonna go with Melvin Gordon and uh, the lock. I mean, nobody really knew it, but he's finding ways to kind of get it done at quarterback. And their defense just kind of play hard nose. And the Raiders, one thing they have shown, if nothing else, they get in their own way in regards to defense. They just give up a lot of points. It's like they don't give a damn and they don't care. So with that being said, I'm gonna go with Denver. Well, fellas, I think we might be in trouble. Uh, Papa's going with Las Vegas. I'm going with Denver. Okay. <laughs> Papa's afraid of your dad, man. <laughs> yeah. and he, uh, when he goes, he's the lone wolf. He usually pulls it off, so we'll see. You said that last week, too, about that lone wolf pick with Denver, didn't you? Denver, yeah. So we, sw we switched and picked Denver, and then <laughs> he picks Las Vegas. <laughs> Who knows? You know yeah, what? Goes. You know, a man got to still be a man. <laughs> Last game on tap is Washington versus Philly. I thought Philly was going to pull one out for me last week. When I saw that touchdown pass to Deshaun Jackson, I'm like, here we go, baby. Here we go. But they just petered out uh, last week. and uh, But they're at home this week. Uh, Jalen Hurts gets another start. Black, who you got? I'm going to take the Eagles with this one, man. I just don't uh, trust the Washington football team offensively. No matter who's quarterback, and I, I think they did the right thing with Lisa Haskins. Uh, I, I wish Haskins well. I'm not sure he's going to be back in the league again, but I wish him well. Um, yeah, Eagles are playing for something next year, bro. They're playing for something, try to show something for next year, and I think they will. Even though they lost Sunday, they played well. They didn't play bad, but uh, I, I'm going to take the Eagles with this one. All right. All right, so you got? Yeah, I know Juan Rivera is a, is a good coach, and he's trying to prove a point even to the point where he's talking about starting a practice quarterback because of the whole situation with Haskins. I get all that, but I don't know if that's going to help you win this football game. I mean, they have a great defense coming on now with uh, with uh, Chase uh, making it happen. It's young, but uh, the Eagles, though, they, they seem to be rallying a little bit around Hurts, and uh, I like the way he's playing. So uh, I think I'm going to get it done. I'm going to Philadelphia. All right. Pop is going with Philadelphia. I'm going with Philadelphia, too. Um, I, I kind of looked at the situation in Washington. And matter of fact, one team that's, that shows some interest in um, 
the, the quarterback who just released is Carolina Panthers. Go figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as he uh, – that 24-hour period went away uh, where they can sign him for the league minimum, uh, Carolina was one of the first teams that showed a little interest. So, so there are some – there is some interest in it, you know. Did they sign him? They didn't sign him yet, but there okay. is some interest. So, okay. you know. Well, I mean, but you know, how many times have we seen before, and I don't know if it's going to happen, how many times have we seen where – a coach, especially a former college coach, sees something as far as a uh, um, <clears throat> set and thinks he can develop him. And I think that's part of it. He's not really been developed. Probably get him away from home and see what happens. I mean, who knows? If you take 19 times and give Tim Tebow 19 different times the opportunity to try to see if he can play, you can't give him. I'm just saying, you know. No, I'm, I'm not knocking him saying he doesn't need a break. I mean, he doesn't need he, – he, he may not have – should not get enough break. I'm not knocking. I will say this, though, and I like I, I like most of, if not all the time, they write undefeated. Sometimes you got to see things just for what it is. They came out – I saw. I read an article that they put out where they were blaming the Washington, they didn't put it around, the coach didn't want it. You know, that is true. But the bottom line is this cat's not ready to be in the NFL. He's just not ready. I mean, and you can't, you can't go into a grown man's game and act like a kid and then blame the people for treating you like a grown person and that's what I see him. He's not ready. He acts like an immature kid. And they got tired of it. So I hope he does. Somebody lands him and, and somebody signs him and sees something in him. But I think he'd have been better suited to stay one more year at Ohio State. I just think he would have been. Yep. All right, those are our picks. It's the last week of the picks. Uh, after this, we go on to the playoffs. Any parting words, Black? This Ooh. last week. Hey, man, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. I may end up in last. And for this year, that's okay. I can't do nothing about it. But um, I had plenty of fun doing this. It was it was real. There's so many games. There's so many games that I picked that I lost in the last two minutes. The team lost. And that is it's exciting. But be damned if it doesn't hurt either, bro, because you think you got to win. And before you know it, pull for Monday when you think you got it. So with that being said, <laughs> I did the best I could this year. Next year, Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this year, I, you know, you think a team is rolling, you know, you switch to another game, and then you go back to the scoreboard and go, what? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had that one. You get ready to mark it in the book. I'm like, oh, man, come on now. Or I would fall asleep, wake up, and like, oh, no, come on. This, I got to wake up. I got. I must be dreaming. This didn't just happen, you know. Oh. Uh, it, was a, it was a decent season, man, because, uh, like I said, I didn't think the season was going to happen. Um, and so, um, yeah, I, I, I can't complain. Uh, there were some exciting games, some things that you found out about teams and players. So uh, the NFL pulled it off, hook or crook. Whether they had COVID or not, <laughs> they pulled it off. Ice? Yeah, this year has been crazy. We all know that. Topsy-turvy, didn't know what was happening. I kind of remember, I think it was like week two or week three, I was in last place. And everybody's looking at it like, yeah, Ice, what you going to do? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I remember telling someone that it was a long season. <laughs> you know, this, this is, this is uh, you know, this is not a sprint. You know, this is cross country, baby. So with that being said, you just kind of wait. And I was things started to change and the shifts and momentum, getting closer to somebody, getting closer right to the last week, and it's like, yes, sir, right there on even on even keel. But uh, it's been it's always fun, man. Cause you don't know what the hell is going to happen. All you can do is guess and talk to your bookie or, or the people, the person that you confide in or whatever you read and then hope it works out. But uh, it's been, all, this is always fun. I think people enjoy it as well. Cause uh, when you write, you write. And when you're wrong, you know, they'd be like, mm -hmm. I can, I can only imagine the comments of people going, damn, he don't know nothing. <laughs> but that's the risk we take in doing this. Yeah. Put it out there. Put it's it okay out there. To be right. And sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you won't. It's okay to be right and it's okay to be wrong. But as long as the people are having fun, that's all that matters. But I still want to win. I'm just trying to <laughs> let that be said. I still want to win. Cheers, Black Door. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Jack and Coke? You, you gave away the mimosa or the cognac and Coke? Yeah, now nah, this now nah, we the cognac and coke is a little lighter, brother. So I went I've met business tonight, so I had to go dark. And he always been on black. So I had to go on uh <laughs> so I had to go with the 
Dak and Coach Drinking Reed. all week. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipating this championship. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, look, we, 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 you know what? Kings and Kings do that. They can do that. They can drink all week. <laughs> all right. I saw we will see you Monday. Stay tuned for our overtime. We'll get these guys to talk about when black men talk and talk about those pretty bottles back there. So stick around for overtime. I wanted to ask Brother Ice, what do you think of Delahoya calling off, you know, Mayweather? Oh. Man, how many more ass whoopings you want, bro? <laughs> if you thought it was bad the first time, you thought you kind of won a fight I really I actually attended. If you think you won the last time, you're you going to really be pissed off this day. Man, he will whoop his butt, bro. I'm going to tell you something. That would make money, though, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Mayweather, makes money. Yeah. Come on, people are paid to see that. The Mayweather would do the same thing. He'd probably come in with that. Last time he went in, he had that uh, he had a sombrero on, right, with the Mexican colors. And he came in there like his uncle, Roger. It's kind of like they call him a Mexican assassin. Yeah. He came in with the same thing, type thing, just to piss De La Hoya off. And then he would beat the hell out of him. I really believe that. Cause you you can't. I mean, he he don't like Oscar because he think Oscar is jealous of him, right? So that's that's always been their thing. And then you bring your boy in, your young boy, uh, Canelo, and Canelo, you try to follow the same thing with Floyd. You get him a shot. He beat both of y'all. Then you start copying the, his career, the way they making moves with his organization and making money. But you don't like him, right? <laughs> you would pay to see that. Black, huh? You said you would pay to see that. You know, I was kind of, you know, fudging a little bit, but <laughs> <laughs> I do think that I think it would draw an audience, though. I think that would draw an audience. I think just just from the Latinos, Mexicans, they'll support it highly. You see Delahoya back in the ring again. I mean, you know, they might think it's a possibility of one. I think it could be so. I mean, much better than what he's doing with his exhibition. But if you want to come get some pub, that should be. Doing. I just look, look at it as a money grab, man. They they saw how much money everybody else is making, and they're trying to make a comeback. It's like the senior tour of boxing, man. I don't want to see two old dudes fight. I can go to a barbecue and see two old dudes fight. I, I, and I and I'm not I'm not this biggest proponent outside the ring, but I think your boy Floyd might try to put him out. This ain't gonna be no exhibition, bro. No. See, that that would be an exhibition from him. If if he could if he could close him down and stop him, he would. See, that's what I'm talking about. They, they, it's, they gonna let them go out there and blaze, man. Yeah, he hey, man. If who would even out, sanction, who would sanction uh -huh. it at this point? Other than an exhibition, who would sanction it? It shouldn't be an exhibition. It should be a fight, straight out. Hey, straight out. Look, hey it's it's tough as you got 19 different organizations: the IB, WBO, IBF, <laughs> whoever, the senior to whatever you want to call it. Somebody would sanction it, and I tell you what, the easy money grab. If Showtime don't want it, the 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 zone will be begging for it. They need put, something. Put Snoop in front of it, baby. There you go. That being said, um, Sunday we'll kind of pull back on love a little bit, and we'll go more so into um, looking at ourselves some more and how we don't mind laughing at ourselves in a sense. You know how we kind of basically see ourselves. Other people kind of see us a certain way. We really don't care about. That's going to kind of be under the foundation of what, what we're going to kind of go through on Sunday. Okay. And, you know, the new year, in a sense, you know, what's some things that you feel different about stepping into this year? You made it feel, like kind of felt a little different from last year. How do you feel about bracing in, uh, the new year in general? Mm, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I know I sound like a Debbie Downer, but I'm not, this ain't going to be an optimistic year. Um, looking at the landscape and stuff. It's going to take a long time to repair some of the stuff here. Um, so hopefully it'll get better. But, you know, we, we all thought 2020 was going to be the year. And man, was it. <laughs> it, was a, it was a year, like, just smacked everybody down. Wow. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm, 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 I'm more optimistic about 2021, bro. I, don't, I think that the world in general has changed somewhat drastically. I think a lot of things are going to be different. I think we're going to see a lot of things be different in this world, some for good reasons. But um, no, I think 2021 is going to battle back. I don't think it's going to be a huge comeback, 
I think it's going to battle back. I'm here for people and all. I'm, I'm with Black Thor as well in regards to being optimistic. 2020 was hell, man. Think about the people that passed away. Um, you know, people don't think COVID's real. But once it hit me when I understood, I felt it because somebody I knew, a couple of people I knew passed, passed away from it. And I know what the virus does, can do to a person. Somebody like myself who has asthma and allergies, you know, that real quick you can drop down into something where it can be bronchitis and you can be at the hospital fighting for your life. And this is even worse from my understanding. But uh, we have to keep pushing through, man, because uh, there have been many other things that have uh, taken over or, or society has faced, particularly our folks, right? We've always been fighting to do some things. So I can, I mean, I, I think we're all blessed to still be here no matter what. And with all that being said, I can't lay down and let, let a virus stop me, bro, because uh, we have too many other things to do, too many other great works to do. Nice. Talk yeah. about some pretty bottles, baby. Hey, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, behind me, as you can see, is uh, a product that came out earlier this year, Rayon Cognac, R-A-Y-O-N Cognac XO. So uh, this was uh, created by an African-American uh, gentleman uh, from the Cleveland, Ohio area. The company is the Low Imports LLC, is only the third African-American company that produces its own cognac in the United States. So with that being said, I've been uh, asked to come along and help, help them market this. It's doing pretty well. We'd like to have more people check it out. So uh, it's different. It's a different taste. One of the things I heard earlier and something somebody was talking about when it comes to cognac and liquors, um, people don't understand when you taste a cognac or even something strong, you're used to a bite, what we call a bite. So when you have that taste, you use something that kind of overwhelms you and then it kind of cools down a little bit. This doesn't have that bite. And part of that is why it's called an XO. It's a little bit more expensive than most cognacs and most liquors, but it's worth it because at the same time, when you drink something, uh, you should be able to drink it straight or what they call having the deep meat. Meat. Yeah, without ice. So it's something that we're working uh, towards continuing to push, letting more people know about it. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to be here because uh, when we did talk about it and we shared it on the show, more people uh, paid attention and we're going to do the same thing as well. We just hope that uh, next year, 2021, is going to be a good year for the company, but a good year for people in all. I'm, I'm with Black Thor. I got to... I gotta leave, Mac. I'm, I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what from the box? <laughs> oh, bro, I'm just teasing, bro. I got more. I got more people that listen and love that part, man. It's an ice with orange. That's how I love it, man. <laughs> <laughs> they know shit. I love it. Oh, uh, like they know. I'm just set it off and see what happens, bro. I knew something was coming. I knew something. <laughs> And you got somebody, look, somebody ready to make some macaroni and cheese, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Look, look, you're going to get it now. Oh, let's, yeah. let's have a discussion yeah. after you've had that real macaroni and cheese. And then let's talk. Yeah, you're going to get samples. You're gonna, you're yeah. Gonna you're gonna, after you get... Hey, you're going to be able to do a half an hour of your whole show just on macaroni and cheese. Because <laughs> <laughs> guess what? You will be apologizing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. I was stunned actually because I'm like, man, all the people who made macaroni and cheese with our family, and you ain't like it. Yeah, he don't was, like it, bro. Like to this day, I don't said, like it, man. Bro, I like it. That's why I said, wait a minute, I wasn't gonna say anything at first. I'm glad you did, bro. I'm glad you did, man. You ain't had no good macaroni and cheese, bro. Yeah, I'm glad you did, bro. I loved it. I mean, I, I, I could, <laughs> I could stop laughing. I love it. Because macaroni and cheese go with the, it, it, it goes with the collard greens, it goes with the turkey, it goes with the chicken. I mean, macaroni and cheese go with everything. Let, let me ask you this. What is it about macaroni and cheese you don't like? Is it, you don't like cheese? You don't like, what is it? I think that's the good part of it. I don't like my cheese for the most part, unless it's not melted. It's really melted and soft. And I think as a kid, the texture always bothered me. So I just turned it, turned off from it, bro. 
Okay, because I mean, once you get that five, that five cheese, macaroni and cheese, what? Burnt cheese. Woo! It's burnt on the top. Whoa! I've seen the burnt on the top. I'm just ain't doing it, bro. <laughs> I've seen it. That's the best part. One of my uh, my friends from Ghana. Uh, I was going to say uh, Sunday, uh, when you said that, usually when um, one of the other friends do something, he's like, I am so ashamed of you. <laughs> <laughs> How can you sit there and say something like that? <laughs> I am so ashamed of you, my friend. <laughs> oh, you got to bring that one out, my brother. You got to bring that one out. Don't do stuff like that, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. that, 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 man. I am so ashamed of you, my brother. <laughs> Somebody offered to make you macaroni and cheese? Not yet, hopefully. <laughs> oh yeah, you should we're well, we gonna put this out, man. Black needs some taste some taste some good macaroni and cheese. Down home macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean put your foot in macaroni and cheese. Yeah. You got like somebody to come over to that house and they'll make it. Uh -huh. They cook in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> you that macaroni and cheese. Yeah, get that good macaroni and cheese. Throw a, little, throw a little apron on, and we never know what might happen over there. Right? <laughs> uh, you know, APB out there or for somebody in Connecticut, a, lo a lovely uh, lady to come over and cook some real soul macaroni tea. No, go back to Alabama, Georgia, <laughs> North Kakalaki, South Carolina macaroni and cheese. But, uh, that's true, though, because, look, you got access to transportation, don't you? You can get somebody on a quick pass. That's what I'm trying to say, brother. Hey, I'm trying to help you too. I might want to try it at that point. I mean, what you say? What you say? Put some lobster. I might want to try it at that point. Put some lobster. That's all I'm saying. Lobster and macaroni and cheese. But lobster. I, I've done lobster in, in, in shells, so it's close. Throw some lobster. You got me. Dude, what the hell is this? Black Jeopardy? You might as well put bacon <laughs> in it. 